Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and I'm so excited that you showed up today for our awesome video. This video is going to show you how to make a return in QuickBooks point of sale using the customer's receipt when they walk in. This is quick and easy and you don't have to go searching around because the customer has their receipt right here and we are going to use the barcode on the bottom to make it the fastest transaction ever. Before we jump into this, I'm going to have you click on the link in the description down below so you can get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. It's an excellent community, growing and growing, where people are asking all kinds of questions. Questions I've never even thought of before, but uh, as, as store owners come side by side and help each other in the dialogue and myself uh, kind of leading the charge, we are happy to answer all your questions, or maybe you want to request a video for this channel. We love that. So get over there, sign up. I'm, I'd be excited to see you there. And otherwise, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe down below so you can get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming your way all the time. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to mention that there are a few different ways that you can take a return from a receipt. Uh, this customer, uh, Leroy Thompson, he purchased five beeswax candles. And let's say that he walks in the store, he's going to bring two of them back because that was just too much beeswax for him. So, uh, before we get to the main place where I like to do it, I'm also going to mention that you can go to the sales history. And if you're on the sales history and you're looking at all the past sales in the search bar here, Excuse me you can go ahead and scan this receipt and it will bring up the proper receipt and so now it's the only receipt displayed and you can hit accept return over here and from there forward it's pretty much the same as the other method so going back to the home screen I know that most of your cashiers and most of your day uh, they're they're gonna be spending most of their day on the make a sale screen so they already might be on the make a sale screen thinking they're about to make the next sale. And Leroy walks it up with his candles and his receipt. And he's like, I need to make a return. So if you hit the accept return button over here, the blue one on the left hand side, now it's going to ask us to scan or enter our receipt information. So since we have the receipt right here, we go ahead and scan it and you can see that it immediately finds Leroy's receipt. Now it says there were five candles, but he only wants to bring back two. So for the return quantity, I'm going to enter two and we uh, it automatically checks that this is a return. I don't think there's any other option, so we hit add selected items. Now you will notice that the beeswax candles come up as a negative. And then the total down here is also a negative, which is the negative price plus the negative tax for these particular items. And there you have it. Uh, Leroy paid with cash originally, as we can see on his receipt. And so I'd probably be handing him cash back unless my particular store has a return policy with only doing store credit. Then that's a different subject and a different video. We will talk about that in short order, how to return uh, a customer's purchase to store credit so that they have to spend the money there. You're kind of like locking them in. Some people are okay with that. Other customers are like, what? Give me my money back. Uh, Leroy really wants his money back. So now we can see immediately that he has cash change, 1069. And so we're going to hit save or save and print so that he can have his return receipt. And it's gonna tell us, go ahead and give him his cash change, 1069, out of the drawer. And there you have it. We have just made a return using a receipt that a customer walked in with and we returned it to cash in their hand. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you have any questions or comments, you can either leave them down below or get over to the QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Look forward to seeing you there. You have a stupendous day now. All right, bye-bye.